what's up YouTube all right so I had Pandora playing uh, in the background of this video so uh, to avoid any kind of copyright strike I just deleted all the audio so I'm gonna be just now reading this uh, so what we're doing is putting in a tray for an arctic cooler to get rid of the Coleman fridge that's included with this because uh, it sucks and it's big drain on the battery I uh, got these rails off of Amazon I'll link those below and uh, we're going to be mounting these rails inside this uh, space here where the uh, refrigerator was and we're going to build some brackets out of uh, angle aluminum this is a 2 by 2 piece of aluminum uh, that I got down at Tractor Supply you get this at pretty much any big box home goods store and uh, we'll just measure out the pieces cut it and we'll drill some hose, mount it down to the floor, and attach the rails to it. You can see where I've got it marked here. Let's cut it with a cutting wheel with an angle grinder. You could use a hacksaw if you don't have one. And uh, we're going to get two pieces out of that. And here we got them cut. Also ripped down a 2x4 to the 2 inches to the same width of the angle aluminum to uh, make sure it's high enough to clear the lip on the front end of the of the trailer here there's a lip along the floor and uh, you'll see it here in a few I'm just going to drive some screws down into the floor it's a plywood floor we'll secure the uh, the mounts and then we'll attach the rails to the opposite side And you can see here we kind of extend out the rail just to check the height. It's hard to do one-handed. So we'll slide that out. Now this rail extends uh, three, it pulls out three times. So you got the the inner part, and then there's a second set of a second rail inside that pulls out. But you can see checking the clearance here. It just clears that lid. It's like maybe half an inch up. And we got a one by one piece of aluminum that I'm going to cut down and that's going to support the floor of the tray and it's going to attach here on the center rail we'll attach it on the inside and it gives me a place to mount the uh, piece of plywood for the floor and I'm using aluminum uh, so I don't have to worry about rust it's lightweight easy to cut and easy to work with so you can drill holes through it very easily I used a drill press but a uh, battery power drill just as well and just lay the uh, the rails up against it get your sharpie marker holes drill them out pretty simple here we got a piece of three quarter inch plywood it's just a scrap that I had cut it down to fit and I'll just kind of test fit everything here you can kind of get the idea how this is going to go together I did construct this uh, shelf outside the trailer uh, just to make sure that everything was square I could put a framing square up against it make sure all my corners were at 90 degrees you know trying to build it in the camper this is figured it'd be a lot easier to build it out and then just bring it in so that way when I uh, mount it down everything's square so the rails pull out evenly no binding or anything like that so here we got it screwed together I shimmed the rear with some cardboard. Uh, these rails do lock, and I wanted to make sure that I had enough room when I push it in uh, for it to lock. So just need to leave a couple millimeters or so of space in the back. So just put some cardboard spacers back there. And that ensures I got enough room for it. I got some uh, two and a half inch deck screws. Uh, the floor of this trailer, I believe, is three quarter inch plywood as well. So these screws uh, give about half an inch or so of a bite into the floor, and I've got uh, three on each side, and I think that's gonna be plenty strong to hold that cooler when it's fully extended. Arctic 20 uh, doesn't weigh that much; you can load it down with ice. This holds it very well. 
And uh, here we got some vinyl flooring, uh, which was just leftover stuff that I had. Put some spray adhesive on the back and stuck it down. You could paint it, carpet it, whatever you like. I figured it'd probably get wet a little bit from ice and drip from the cooler. So went with something I could easily wipe off and not have to worry about um, mildew, or mold, stuff like that. And see the gap across the back. At least plenty of room for the rails to lock. And you want these to lock so when you're rolling down the road, the cooler's not banging against your rear hatch. And also locks in the out position. Uh, everything fit really good. Nice and square. Opens and shuts. Doesn't bind at all. And here we've got a uh, strap kit from Arctic. Uh, you mount these plates down to the floor, and you've got some straps that kind of hook into the sides of the cooler and just kind of hold it down against the floor so it doesn't rattle around in there. I'll link this below on Amazon. There's other off brands that are a lot cheaper. Do the same thing. And here's the finished product. You can see the clearance uh, did have a little bit of issue with uh, spacing, getting that cooler set in just right to make sure that door closes. But this Arctic 20 fits just right. And the height uh, with these rails just puts it just the right height. So, see here, pulling it out. Locks. Easy access to the cooler completely open get in get what you need top of the cooler acts as a space to uh, you know, somewhat extend your counter space what I'll probably end up doing is uh, putting a board or some kind of countertop over the cooler uh, just to extend that countertop for usable space and the cooler will just pull out and slide up underneath it that'll be something later on down the road uh, but for now, this works. The straps hold it down really tight. Slides in and out, locks. Everything fits perfect. Needs to be finished out. I'll come back and paint the uh, end grain of the wood. Uh, maybe paint it or cover it with vinyl, figure something out for that. Uh, there is about an inch and a half or so of space underneath it. And, uh,. What I've done now is just taken a plastic tackle box to hold my silverware, uh, know, little knickknacks, fuses, stuff like that, and it rides underneath that shelf. Just to utilize that space a little bit. Just test, fist, test fitting some of these containers I had. They were just a little bit too tall. Tackle box worked great. And uh, easy access to the cooler. This basket is actually from an igloo cooler, uh, which it was just a little bit too big. Uh, just took a hammer, kind of pounded it out. Now it fits perfect. Arctic doesn't make a basket for the 20, so had to get creative, but gets the job done. But that's it. I hope uh, that helps somebody. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.